What's up guys, Mitchell Watts with Town & Country TV and today I am so excited to bring you this particular video. This is the world's first 2021 Ford F-150 lifted on 37 inch tires. First off, I'd like to say a huge thank you to BDS Suspension. As you guys know, we are a direct dealer for them and you can find their products on our website, tccustoms.com or you can buy a truck that's already converted just like this. But anyways, thank you to BDS for giving us early access to one of their very first kits on the 2021 Ford F-150. If you didn't know, the new F-150 2021 is all new. 97% of this vehicle is different compared to the 2020 year model before it. And with that being said, it needed a new lift kit. So it's a totally different part number. So huge thanks to BDS for sending those to us. And if you want your own BDS lift kit, uh, we do have a couple of those available in stock as the time I'm making this video right now. So check out tccustoms.com if you'd like to order that. Now, the other thing that I want to tell you about is our giveaway that we're doing. We're actually doing 12 days of giveaways for just in time for Christmas. And uh, what we've been doing is we're giving away 12 12 gift cards valued at $250 a piece. And if my redneck arithmetic is right, that's about $3,000 worth of gift cards. But even more important that the giveaway that we have scheduled for next year that I can't tell you about just yet is going to be massive. And if you've registered for this giveaway, you'll be the first to know about the next one. So let's just leave it at that. But enough about that. Let's get back to the truck and what makes it so special. So the front end and the suspension system, let's talk about that first. If you want to know what this truck is equipped with, the ins and outs of the truck as it is from the Ford factory, I'll leave a link down below or up in the cards. You can see this exact same truck as it sat 24 hours ago in stock form. It's insane how fast and how well TC Customs was able to turn this truck out for you guys to make it the world's first. But either way, let's talk about the actual lift kit itself. Once again, there's four different BDS lift kits for the 2021 at the time I'm making this video. You have a four inch kit with the, with the strut spacer, the inexpensive kit. Well, it's still expensive, but it's less expensive than the coilover four inch kit that you can get as well. Then you have the six inch kit, which is what this one has. And then you have a six inch with the coilover, which is a little bit more expensive as well. Uh, so the, the six inch kit is what I prefer. Uh, you can fit 35s on it and go with a much more aggressive stance on the truck itself, uh, meaning that you can go with a more uh, aggressive of an offset on the wheel and the tire and that kind of thing. Uh, but if you like the big tires and small wheels, something like this, you can actually opt for 37s with the right wheel. I believe it's a 20 by nine with five and a half inches of backspacing. You should be good to go to fit those 37s. Now you're going to have to cut the front crash bars out just like we did on this particular truck. But once again, we did not have to touch the rear crash bars at all because that I would never recommend you take out your rear crash bars because that's the last thing that keeps that tire from coming into the cabin of the vehicle. But the front, you know, that basically keeps the bumper from hitting the tire. If you're going to get in an accident that bad, it's going to come into the tire anyways. Uh, so that, that's kind of my spiel on that. But the cross member on the BDS lift kit is really where you'll find where this kit is different than a lot of the other kits that will be coming on the market here coming soon. The reason I say that is because it comes with an extremely thick gauge steel and it even has the BDS stamped into the actual lift kit itself. But it's not just there for looks. It is also kind of a pseudo uh, a skid plate, if you will, to help keep things from getting bashed in and things like that. Now, you still might want to go with an extra skid plate like BDS did on their show truck build, but nonetheless, you don't necessarily have to in this configuration. So it's got that cross member in the front and it lowers the, uh, the, the mounting points for the lower control arms. That allows you to keep all of the steering suspension and the, steer, and the component, suspension components all within factory alignment. So that way it's going to still drive very, very similar to stock. Very, very important there. Now, BDS also gives you updated steering knuckles. They're going to be cast steel um, and very, very strong, painted black, and, and really looks good as well. Uh, but the reason I, I even bring up those, those steering knuckles is because inside of the cast of that steering knuckle, they actually have the mounting points for the tie rods are going to be moved uh, up further. So that way, you don't have to relocate the steering gearbox on the vehicle itself. There are some other lift kits out there that requires you to move the steering box just because they didn't want to redo the steering knuckle and it, it just engineering wise it makes a lot more sense to have 
an altered steering knuckle versus a steering gear. It's just, it, the ease of installation is so much easier on this kit versus ones where you have to move that steering gear. So very, very important there. Uh, now keep in mind, this one does reutilize the upper control arms from the Ford factory. Uh, and it also uh, reuses the actual strut from the Ford factory as well. Uh, and, um, and what they do is on top of that Ford factory strut, they actually put a strut spacer. Very similar to a, an oversized leveling kit, if you will. Now, the other thing that you want to realize is that if you opt for the coilover counterpart, it's going to do just like that. It's going to replace that entire strut with a coilover setup. And if you don't know what a coilover is, it's no shame. That's why we, we exist, is to teach you about trucks. Uh, but that coilover is literally a coil over a, a shock absorber and it's adjustable so you can actually adjust the ride height now you will have to get it realigned every time you adjust it but then nonetheless you can do that now you also can go with an upgraded version of that uh, coilover that is uh, i think they call it the dsc and so it's actually you're able to tune that shock absorber to uh for for whatever your application is whether you're off-road racing or if you're towing something uh, so that way it's a little more customizable on the fly uh, versus this kit, which just reutilizes the, the factory springs. So that is something that you need to realize. Now, they also happen to have a uh, drop bracket that allows you to move your sway bar down further as well. And although that is, you kind of have to have the sway bar in there, uh, but what, what happens is you move that sway bar down and it's a really nice place to advertise yet again that you paid the money to get a BDS lift kit. Uh, I know I'm a dealer for BDS, but and I know I'm biased, but I also sell ready lift and also uh, can get you a, a rough country. Um, there's a lot of different lift kits we can help you with. This is by far my favorite, not just because it's the most expensive. Typically speaking with suspension system, I found out that you kind of get what you pay for, you know, so um, nonetheless, you know, the, there is a law of diminishing returns, but by and large, this is a great, great kit. Now let's do this. Let's take a look at the rear suspension and what Ford has changed on that. Now that we're on the back side of the truck, let's talk about what you actually get for your money on the lift kit. Now, all of your BDS lift kits are gonna come with a block in the rear. It doesn't actually upgrade or change out the actual leaf spring in the rear. But this is gonna be a very in important point that you need to realize on the new 2021 F-150 I've not seen on any reviews out there is that the leaf spring pack is now gone on the 2021 F-150. Now you can see you've got this single leaf spring with the helper spring up underneath it. And so it's gonna be a completely different rule on the F-150 and the first time the Ford F-150 has ever done this uh, in my lifetime anyways. And uh, it's gonna be interesting to see how this thing rides uh, as far as the, the, the factory suspension system. Now I will tell you that the lift kit itself drives perfectly fine. Um, and I can tell you on the block itself in the rear, uh, it's not gonna alter the way the vehicle rides at all. It does also uh, upgrade and change out the shock absorbers. You've got a couple different shock absorbers available on the BDS kit. You have the, uh, the I think they call it the Nitrous or NX series shock absorbers that are the standard uh, shock absorber that comes with the truck. Uh, it's perfectly fine, have no reservations there. But if you are gonna be doing a lot of off-roading or maybe some towing and you know just, just a lot of suspension articulation, you might wanna consider upgrading it with the Fox shocks as well. So that is kind of not a whole lot to talk about on the rear end of the, the truck from the BDS side, but it's very important to know that the suspension system is completely different than last generation from the Ford factory. Now, if you haven't had a chance, make sure you go watch the video that I'll link down below and then also up in the cards uh, that showcases this truck in stock form. As you can see a little sneak peek on this screen right here, this truck looked very, very different just a very short period of time ago. In fact, this is what they did in 20 four hours on this particular truck. Now, a little fun fact, we also actually had the MagnaFlow exhaust system. As you guys know, uh, MagnaFlow allowed us the very first exclusive access to a black tip exhaust for the Ford F-150, the 15 through 20 model. Um, so what we were doing when we were building this truck, we decided to go ahead and put that exhaust system up to it. Um, and uh, come to find out, it actually does not fit. Even though uh, you know the truck looks very similar, all the hangers were in the exact same location, um, and even uh, it, it looked like everything was gonna fit, but uh, depending on which kit you're talking about, the exhaust hookups, the flanges weren't matching up, and it's going to cause an automatic exhaust leak. So you're gonna have to wait until MagnaFlow gets their updated version of the 2021 exhaust system before you can actually utilize their exhaust on this particular truck. So just a little fun fact that, uh, that Ford changed just enough on this truck just to piss you off. <laughs> 
as far as the aftermarket stuff goes. In fact, let's talk about this as well. As you can see right there on the screen, the Ford F-150 has an active front air dam. It literally moves up and down as the truck drives down the road. And so you need to realize that before you start swapping out things and you know you may be swapping out a bumper or what have you um, that you might cause some sensors to go haywire because there's physical motors that cause that front air dam to go up and down depending on what you're doing and so that is yet another thing that i don't see on a whole lot of youtube videos that it's kind of fun it's kind of a unique look at um uh, at the f-150 as far as the modifications are concerned now the other thing that i want to show you is you see how there's no step bars on this truck. Well, we were going to put some amp power deployable running boards on the truck, and right now we couldn't get a direct answer from uh, our supplier there whether the, the 2020 boards fit on the new 2021 model. Um, I have a feeling that all the bolts and it hooks up and locates in the same place, but keep in mind that system plugs into the OBD port to tell if the vehicle door is open and when to kick the door, the, the actual steps down. And so since this has got a totally different brain than last year's, there might be a whole new part number coming on AMP. We couldn't get a direct answer, but nonetheless, that is the reason there's no boards on this truck right now. So what we'll probably do is maybe go with a set of factory ones or maybe some, uh, some infabs or you know maybe one of those aftermarket you know stationary running boards, but that is going to be coming very, very soon. And there you go. That is our look at the world's first 2021 Ford F-150 sitting on 37 inch tires. Hope you enjoyed this video. Video. Hopefully it was exciting to you as it was for us because really I'm just proud of where our TC Customs team has gone in a very, very short period of time. You know, we've been doing this custom truck thing for 21 years, uh, but we haven't had the official branding uh, that we named it TC Customs up until recently. So it's just exciting to see how far we've come in a very, very short period of time. And we're just very, very excited to share this little journey with you guys. We hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, once again, make sure to share it on your social media, but make sure that you're subscribed with that bell notification turned on so that we you don't miss some of the other videos we're going to be doing like the cat skin premium leather see what that's going to look like on this new stx we're going to show you those power steps that we talked about uh, we're going to show you some options on either removing this air dam or what you can do to kind of modify that so make sure you're subscribed so that way you are connected with the best source for aftermarket on your ford f-150 and i can't believe i'm saying this and i'm probably going to get some hate but uh, i can't believe this little stx is actually con making me consider <laughs> My, my 2017 Ford Raptor. Uh, this thing is absolutely bad to the bone and uh, just very, very proud of what we've accomplished in a short period of time. Thank you so much for watching this video. Before I let you go though, just another reminder, make sure to hit up tccustoms.com forward slash giveaway for your chance to win $3,000 in gift cards. Thank you so much for watching this video and have a great day.